So we go to the second, the another class of waterborne disease. We have this Dranculus mediniensis. This is mostly found in sub-Saharan African countries, South America, li li uh, less developed uh, country. And uh, one thing about this disease is the guinea worm infection. If we look at this picture here, this is the worm. The, it, 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 the worm can live in an individual for a long, very, very long period. And it comes out like a thread. That is why they call it thread worm. So um, uh, it is acquired by here, swallowing. If you swallow contaminated water, it, uh, what happens is that these infected people, when they go into the river to, to wash or to swim, they, leave, they release the parasite into that river or to wherever. And when you go into the river to swim, and if you don't close your mouth properly, uh, you swallow some water and with the parasite, they come into your digestive tract and they multiply because that is where the environment is comfortable for them. When they multiply, they now the outdoor migrated to the legs or to any surface where they develop into worms, trail like worms. And then from there, when somebody, in, when this infected person encounter water again, the same. That is why we say the life cycle of the parasite. So the worm that comes out of the skin can live for a few weeks. When, when it is out of the skin, it can live for a few weeks before it dies. <laughs> 